what is up stack and ohana this is aloha stacker and welcome back to the channel and to another video and today we have week 20 ten dollar uh weekly challenge uh some channel mail we got ourselves some coins from atmex bold precious metals and guido stacking so stay tuned we've got some really cool things to show off but as usual the first thing we're going to do is start with the uh, channel mail and the first one we have is from wait for it wait for it let's see who we got make sure i got the stickers out of here okay looks like we have got a letter from Moose, thanks Aloha for the great streams, great times, and great friendship. Your contribution to the community is awesome, and your challenge round rocks. Love and respect, Moose. And what is Moose? Moose is this guy right here. Look at that sticker. Oh, man, I love that sticker. Look at that, the Moose, the Eagle. Oh, so pretty. Very beautiful sticker. Thank you, Moose. And then he also sent me, of course, the holographic sticker, and the holographic sticker looks fantastic. Look at that. That is just a beauty. Great logo, great sticker. Thank you very much, my friend. Check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description. Next, we are going to our friend, the Stacking Skier. It looks is uh, the next one we've got. So as I get that busted open, let's see what the Stacking Skier has sent us. He sent us an outer layer that says, Dear Aloha. Then it says, Thanks a ton. And he says, Aloha. Just a quick thank you for all the great videos. So much fun. And precise info, your continued support of the stacking community, all of the gods, and especially for sending me the swag bag of stickers and magnet. Really appreciate it and your great energy. Mahalo, take care. Enjoy the goodies, the sticker, skier. Thank you, my friend. And here is our good friend. Actually, he's got some things taped to the back of the sticker. Let me get him off real fast. Okay, so there's his sticker, the stacking skier. So if you don't know him, check him out as well. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, number nine of 59, Skier. Now, I'm not sure if Stacking Skier, I can't remember if Stacking Skier has a YouTube channel or not. There's so many channels I follow. I can't remember who has one and who doesn't. I know for sure he's got Instagram because we chat on Instagram uh, frequently, pretty frequently. So what did he send me? He sent me a couple cool things. So let's check it out. I'm going to take this out of the bag because this is, uh, he sent me a couple silver coins. So let's go ahead and move into the Zoom. And the first thing he sent me was this. Barter is better. Five, tenth ounce, 99 fine silver, 2010 AOCS approved. And on this side, we have buy local, go local. One tenth ounce piece of silver. Thank you very much. That is a beauty. Now, they sent me another piece of silver. That's, it looks like it's only about a gram, but this thing is neat. Wait till you guys see this. This is, this is really cool. So here's the other side. It says one gram, 99 pure silver, but check this out. Let's flip it. Look at that. He gave me my, lo he gave me my hand signal. How cool is that? That is cool. Oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you very much, Stack and Skier. I oh, let me zoom out so that so you can see that. Thank you very much for that, my friend. That is just so awesome. And thanks for the nice note. Moving on, we have one more, and it comes in this package right here. And this is from, I believe it's from Silver Cycle. So let's take a look and see what Silver Cycle has sent. Got to get his sticker out of the envelope. It's in there nice and uh, tight. So check this out. Check this sticker out. Silver Cycle, holographic. Motorcycle. Looks like we've got a big old chunk of, of uh, looks like copper. That's a big chunk of, that's a big bar of copper. Uh, and then on top of his, uh, a big quarter. So that is cool with some stacks in the back. That is, that is pretty dope. <laughs> nice, nice one, my friend. And he wrote, Aloha. Thanks for the swag. Just wanted to give something back as a thank. Silver Cycle. Thank you very much, Silver Cycle. That is very nice of you. And what did you send me? Looks like you sent me a couple, uh, a couple coins. It's like uh, clad coins. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Looks like we got ourselves one peso 2004 from the Republic of the Philippines. Oh, that's pretty nice. And then, oh, I know that coin. Yep, yeah, I recognize that coin. That coin was, this is one of the coin symbols that was used on uh, Mamelin Entertainment's coin challenge. I recognize that. So 1993. Very cool. Thank you very much for that. And there's one other coin. It looks like it's from, looks like it's from Mexico. And uh, here we go. We got uh, Estados Unidos and Mexicanos, United States and Mexico. And then it looks like we have five pesos from 1992. Got the cool little Aztec symbol is running around the side. Like it's got, it looks like it's the bimetallic type of coin. So it is a beautiful coin. Thank you very much, my friend. And uh, as there'll be a link for you in the description as well. Uh, thank you very much. That is all the channel mail I've got. So let me go ahead and clear this out of the way so we can start busting out and talking about the week 10 coin. So here it is. So. As you know, Mill, Mill Stack started this awesome, uh, this awesome challenge, 
and this is the $10 challenge. And this week I've got a 1987 Canada silver dollar, Detroit de Davis Strait. And it's the 400th anniversary of the discovery of the Davis Strait. So that is pretty cool. Look at that coin. Now this is a 50% copper, 50% silver. It's 0.375 ounces of silver. And the mintage on this coin was 602,374 proofs, which is this one. And they also minted 118,722 beautifully uncirculated. Okay, so uh, that's the ship John Davis. And this the engraver here was Christopher Goray. And on the obverse side, we obviously have the queen as usual. So uh, nothing, nothing too crazy there. But now I've got actually got a really cool, uh, so here's this coin. So real quick, I want to read a real quick thing about the Davis Strait. Uh, it's called the Davis Strait in English and French is Detroit de Davis, or de Davis, just like it says on the coin. It's a northern arm of the Atlantic Ocean that lies north of the Labrador Sea. It lies between, the, between Midwestern Greenland and Baffin Island in Nunavut, Canada. To the north is Baffin Bay. The strait was named for the English explorer John Davis, 1550 to 1605 who explored the area while seeking a Northwest Passage. By the 1650s, it was used for whale hunting. So that's pretty cool. So let me show you guys something real quick. So I was able to print out a map so you can see where the Davis Strait is located uh, since it's some, some of those locations might not be known. So there's Greenland right there. So we got Greenland, we got uh, Northern Canada, we got Northern part of Canada right here, we got St. John's and then Baffin Island. And then here is the Straits right here. So that is pretty cool. So I was able to get that printed out so uh, I could show you off more or less where that was. And that replaces last week's coin, which was this one right here, which was the Royal Canadian uh, dog sledding teams that were used up in the Yukon. So that was last week's coin. So it will go into the box, which is right here. That is the box we store all the $10 week challenge coins in. And it's getting pretty full. So, But I will replace it and you will be on display uh, right now, pretty much. So... Uh, let me get this out of the way and let's go ahead and move on to the next thing and that's going to be looks like we have okay so the next we have is a purchase i made from atmex let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see the coin and what we have here is a 2021 six shilling and there's a bunch of writing around the side it's uh there's some uh, abbreviations but basically what it says it says new silver coin of utrecht and this is check that out Check that ship out. This is a Netherlands shilling. Five sh or six shilling, right? Yeah, six shilling. Netherlands six shilling. It looks like we've got the coat of arms with the crown on one side, and we have a nice ship with the flags on the other one. Now, this actually only has a 10,000 limited mintage, which I wasn't, I didn't know about when I actually bought the coin. It's not a reeded edge, by the way, also. It's just a, a standard flat edge. So that's kind of interesting that uh, there's only 10,000 minted on these. Uh, I believe they make these every year, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you know that, let me know that in the comments. So uh, I do have a little bit of information on, no, no, I actually don't. That's about all I have on that. There's not really a lot of information. It's basically just a restrike of the old style shillings that they used in the Netherlands back in, well, whenever they minted these, probably back in the uh, 1700s, 1800s. So that's a pretty cool coin. Check that out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next set of coins, and that's going to be from Bold. So as usual, I had I, uh, I had to make shipping on a Bold purchase, so I picked up two more guineas to help keep the ta keep uh, keep this going. So I got two two guineas that I will be adding to this uh, guinea stack because I've given away all the rest of these. Every single one of these in here has been given away. So I believe there's 27 in here right now. So which means I gave away 23, and I'm adding two more back, so that'll take me back to 29, and I'll do that after the video. Uh, so that would be cool, but it's nice to be able to restock some of those since I've given so many of them away Now moving on uh, The next purchase I got from bold during that purchase was this right here, which is the HMS bounty So this is a Cook Islands coin from 2020 uh, 2020 we have Elizabeth the second on the reverse and we have the HMS bounty on the obverse. It's one dollar It's th four nines fine silver now the cool thing about this coin now there's no uh, mintage on these coins. There's like there's no mintage listed at least. So as far as I know, there's as limited as they can be. But it's not the only one I own. I actually have the two ouncer too. So I just got the one ouncer, but I already own the two ouncer. And check that out. Check out. It's basically the same size completely. They fit in the same can and just just the they look the same uh, size. But they're just thicker. One's just you know. So the dimensions, the diameter is the same, but the uh, thickness is definitely <laughs> it's chunky. 
So I got the two ounce chunk and I just got the new one ounce. Now the cool thing about this coin is it's about the HMS Bounty. So the HMS Bounty is the ship featured on the coin and it rep is representative of the actual ship. So the HMS Bounty acquired and commissioned by the Royal Navy in 1787. It went on to maritime infamy during its first voyage on a botanical mission as commanding Lieutenant William Bly succumbed to mutiny led by Lieutenant Fletcher Christian. While attempting to avoid capture, the HMS Bounty was actually navigated through the waters of Cook Islands. The mutineers finally chose to burn the ship. Of course, the ship and the events surrounding its first and final mission was made popular, famous by the novel published in 1932, authored by Charles Nordhoff and James Norman Hall. A movie adaptation was released in 1962, and a second movie was released in 1984. So that's just a quick little brief history of the uh, of the coin of the ship and the mintage. So or in the and uh, it's uh, tra it's one travel, I guess, right? And then we got obviously the two coins. So we'll set those down as additional pickups during this video. So the next thing we've got right here is the Guns of America. Now this is kind of cool. So let me zoom in on this. So, or Guns Up America, it says, a, in God We Trust. And on this side, we have two pistols that looks like you can be broken in half. They're one half ounce pieces that, can, that are designed to be broken. And this is a pretty neat looking coin. Now there's no mintage on this one either that I was able to discover. Uh, but it is a nice looking coin and the cool thing about this is I do have a little write-up on this on this coin as well So let me let me tell you about it a little bit So this bare arms America guns up one ounce silver round makes its point very clearly The obverse displays a man in Western attire with his arms crossed upon his chest He bears a fine revolver in each hand pointing up the man has a serious expression on his face and with a finger on each of the pistols triggers He is fully prepared inscriptions include guns up America in God. We trust the reverse is somewhat unique in that its overall design is split in half by dividing line running up from the top rim to the bottom. Displayed on the left half is a small image of the state of Texas engraved with a lone star. A pistol is pointing up with its barrel against the center dividing line. Inscriptions on the left handle include one half ounce, three nines fine, pure silver. At the left, room, at the left rim, the second amendment at the bottom. The right half displays a mirror image of a pistol shown on the left. Its barrel is also against the dividing line. Pointing up, inscriptions include one half ounce, three nines, pure silver, at the right rim, and your right to bear arms at the top. The unique center dividing line is also scored, which allows the round to be snapped in half if desired. This would make two one half ounce rounds, which accounts for why the inscriptions on both halves indicate one half ounce. So that's pretty cool. So that's a neat, it's a, so that's a pretty neat coin. And uh, hold on a quick second, just knock this around. Okay, so, and, uh, it's made by the Cut Saw Mint. That's the that's who manufactures the coin. So that is pretty cool. I've seen this on a few other channels. Uh, I figured it was about time I picked one up. It's got a reeded edge, by the way. But uh, th this coon is awesome, and it's my two favorite guns. I love the Colts. I love the revolver. I love the six-shot revolver. It is my favorite type of uh, firearm. So right there, that's cool. So moving on, we have some Guido stacking. Check out his latest sticker. That is dope. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, he's got a he's got a dope ass sticker. I just gotta say that <laughs> it's just so cool. All right, so what did we get from Guido? Well, we got two things. First, we got ourselves a generic round by the Ashash Asahi Mint. This is my first one on this style. Check that out. Three nines fine silver Asahi refining one troy ounce, and on this side we have uh, looks like just a bunch of A's, kind of just the way it's marked. It's got a few milk spots on it, but this is just a generic silver round. And I don't own any by this company, so it's my first one. So that is pretty nice. Uh, so that's a beautiful little coin. Uh, there you go, real quick and easy. But the second one is the one I wanted to show off, and this one is awesome. So check out this Morgan Silver Dollar, 1881. Mint mark, let's flip over, is a San Francisco. So this is a San Francisco minted 1881S. And this is beautiful, this is almost, in, this has gotta be almost uncirculated because I don't see any wear and tear on the front, all the all the hair is not is finely lined, and let's see this check. And the, look at the breast feathers. Breast feathers are in full, full, shiny. And we got the reeded edge. Got some nice color toning on it too, and uh, you can see some bag marks and some and some scratching on it. But that's cool. I still, you know, this is just one of those they call slick. So he sold these as slick. I think I paid twenty eight bucks for this. This was a twenty eight dollar Morgan Silver dollar, and that is a deal in my opinion for this kind of quality. It is awesome. So with the with this, I had to go and look it up, reference it in the red book. I've got my uh, my good old trusty uh, 2021 United States coins. So this is an 1881S. So let's find out some specifics on this 1881S. 
12,767 12, or 60,000 minted. I'm going to guess that this is a minimum condition of at least an AU50. It's probably higher. Uh, and so that has a $39 value. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I got it graded. It could fall into some of these categories over here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I just really like, I mean, I, I love my Morgan Silver Dollars. So this will just go into a, uh, I'll probably put this in a capsule. Either go into a capsule or a flip. I haven't decided yet. But I just like, I just love to be able to take a look at my Morgans and enjoy them. And this one's got some nice color toning to it. You can see it down in the uh, left side down here. There's some, uh, some pretty cool looking toning. Let me see if I can, I don't see any on the other side though. But this side is just absolutely beautiful. So that is what I've got for you today, everybody. I got a bunch of cool pickups. It was a cool $10 a week challenge. Lots of good stuff. You can see I got the Mandalorian coin there. And uh, there'll be a link to that at the end of the video. If you missed out on that uh, that video where I showed that off much, uh, much closer and nicer. And uh, that's what I got for you every day. So I appreciate you, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, with that, I hope you have a good week ahead. This is going to come out Sunday morning. So I hope the week ahead for you all is awesome. So uh, until next time, I, all I have to say is aloha and mahalo.